Now coming to the definition of myocardial protection. What is myocardial protection? It refers to strategies and methodology used either to prevent or attenuate post ischemic myocardial dysfunction that occurs during or after cardiac surgery. So, you have various strategies and methodologies to overcome the dysfunction that happens with cardiac surgery that is myocardial protection. In short, it prevents ischemic myocardial dysfunction, preserve the myocardial function to get back to normal, prevent cell death. It prevents ischemia, prevents reperfusion, get the heart back to normal and your myocardium is protected. And cardioplegia is usually often used as a synonymous for myocardial protection. Actually, cardioplegia definition is nothing but a solution to the myocardium to provide diastolic electromechanical arrest. It produces cardiac arrest, so heart comes to standstill. Here came with three important strategies for myocardial protection. First, you have to produce an electromechanical arrest. Second, you have to induce hypothermia as a component of myocardial protection. Third, you have to have lot of protective factors to counteract the deleterious effect of solution which is used for causing arrest as well as hypothermia. This will be beneficial during arrest, but post arrest, you have to counter the deleterious effect caused by arrest and hypothermia. So, at the first part, the cardiac arrest. Rapid diastolic cardiac arrest to conserve energy by sodium and calcium depletion, extracellular potassium and magnesium elevation and finally by infusion of local anesthetic or calcium antagonist. Second, you induce hypothermia to slow down your cellular metabolic demand and you add lot of substance to prevent or reverse ischemic reperfusion injury. You add magnesium citrate to counteract calcium overload, trisidroxy aminomethane or bicarbonate to counteract acidosis, mannitol or albumin to counteract cellular edema, local anesthetic such as procaine to counteract membrane instability and amino acid and glucose to counteract reduce energy substrates and nutrient stores. So, whatever happens with cardiac arrest, you try to supplement while coming off. And this principle, initial arrest, hypothermia and lot of substance which added to overcome the event which happens in the arrest is the principle for most of the cardioplegic solution. Coming to the anatomical concept, where you give the cardioplegia. Here, your coronary artery and venous drainage of the heart is very, very important. Normally, you give anti-grade or retrograde. Usually, you give the cardioplegia in the aortic root. So, it goes into the coronary arteries and cause cardioplegic arrest of the heart. But if you have coronary artery disease, if you try to give uh, cardioplegia anti-grade, it may not reach because of the obstruction. In those case, you have to give retrograde cardioplegia. It enables the cardioplegic solution to reach beyond the obstruction. But at the same time, giving retrograde might be suboptimal in protecting the right ventricle. Why? Because the right ventricle may be draining via the TBCN vein. It is not drained by the coronary sinus. So, by giving cardioplegia into the coronary sinus, you can protect the left ventricle, but the right ventricle might be unprotected. So, these are the few anatomical concepts which is very important when you administer cardioplegia. Now, coming to the purpose of giving cardioplegia. First and foremost is electromechanical cardiac caress during cardiac surgery. Second is myocardial protection. And third, important thing is breathless and motionless operating field for prolonged period of time so that the 
surgeon can do the surgery. So, what are the various challenges? First, you have to interrupt the coronary circulation. This is usually done by putting a cross clamp across the aorta. Second is you have to protect the body. The heart is arrested. So, you have to protect the body particularly your brain and the kidney. How it happens? Cardiopulmonary bypass usually maintains the systemic circulation as well as decompress the heart and reduces its work and reduce the oxygen consumption. So, these two parts can be answered. The third important part is your heart protection. Now, it is going to happen. Either you induce hypothermia or you give cardioplegia, 